Cinema 5D's NAB show coverage. Sponsored by BH, the professional source for all your video needs. I test the Carl Zeiss ZF2 lenses and uh, I find them really interesting for filmmaking. And it was the best choice to use a HDSLR camera and have the best quality of lenses and manual focus in this time of history. The still photo lenses are designed for photographers. To be used in the film style, something is missing. I redesigned a kit to transform a still photo lenses in, in a cine mode, cine style lenses that offer more choices to work in a better way. The prime circle is based on the 18 mm, the 21, the 25, the 28, the 35, 85, and 100 macro plus the 50 macro. We are working right now on the new 15 mm. We have different kits from two lenses to nine lenses that will cover most of the needs from a simple filmmaker or a motion photographer or a rental house in cinematography. The modification is based on different points. The first interesting point is we add a new bayonet over the Nikon F bayonet. The ZF2 is born like a Nikon F mount. We designed this new X-circle bayonet that's got just screwed over and rotated 90 degree, offering, you see on the side you have focus index and aperture index. In photographic style, you have it on the top. We rotate the bayonet and make it on the side. It's easy when you walk on the shoulder or walk in the cine style to have directly the index in front of the follow focus, for example. And the assistant can see what he's doing directly. This is a very important need in cinema style shooting. The second point is we declick the aperture gear is the photographic uh, gear has small clicks to stop the, the, the aperture in the right position. We pull off the, the clicking point of the lenses. We add a new um, grease. It's more hard to move. We mount the focus gear that's also made to work by hand. If you want to, still want to make photographs, you can still use it because you can grab it here. We add an index barrel that show you exactly what lens you're using. You have to see it far away to report it on the production schedules. We add a, a front mount with special machined micro lines to offer more matting in the surface and offering better anti-reflecting solutions. And we make a beautiful aluminum cap that keeps the lens protected when you have it in the case. The prime circle cost is around 30% more than the Carl Zeiss ZF2 lenses. Anyway, if something happened to the lenses, it can be sent back to our facility. We can pull out the, the old lenses, the change with a new lenses, send to service the not working lenses. Together with the prime circle, we develop a sliding matte box because the still photographic lenses has some movements of the front barrel that we can easily compensate with a sliding matte box. Also, the sliding matte box can be fine to use with small autofocus zooms because you can move through 24 to 70 and don't need to change the position of the matte box. For example, this is 100 macro. You can go to completely cover the range of the focus without moving or changing the position of the matte box. This makes everything easy, and this was my dream from a long time. Every time I was shooting with a marker, I had to fix my mud box up and down for every shot. Now I have the freedom to fix my follow focus and go where I want. We use the mud flocking. It's a kind of velvet, uh, ultrasonic um, surface treatment that gives you 99.9 .9 reflection cut. 
The price point is a range, it depends on which kinds of accessories, if you need the side flags or just the top flags. We have a range of 700, 800, 900 maximum euro. We are trying to compress the price more we can to offer to the Prime Sequel user a cost-effective mat box. The mat box will be on delivery in the end of May 2012. I love this mat box.